In today's video, I wanna show you guys on how you can make a grade and GPA calculator for your school. And this calculator also works for your weighted cumulative GPA as well. And the neat thing about it is that you can also add classes from the past to have your current GPA already on board. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay, so here I am on a new Google Sheets document and we're gonna go ahead and start writing down and creating our grade calculator. Now, first and foremost, what I wanna know is I wanna know the units of my classes, okay? Now for the next column here, I'm gonna go on the second row actually and type in class name. Now I'm gonna, underneath the class name, I'm gonna write down a category for the category of the grade, whether it's exams, quizzes, participation. Um, now I'm gonna write down the weight of that said grade and the actual grade itself. Now the next one that I wanna put is I wanna type in on back to row one now, cause this is gonna be all the way down. Uh, we're gonna be able to make this modular and you can copy paste as many classes as you want. But for every class, there is going to be a class over an overall grade actually. And then after that, I'm gonna do a grade point. So for you know your grade point average later on, your GPA. And then I'm gonna put down letter for the letter grade that you have in that class right now. Now, the way I'm gonna uh, structure this is I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna shrink down this column H here. And I'm actually going to write down cumulative GPA and our GPA will be right here, okay? So we're gonna do this calculation later, but I'm just gonna make a placeholder here for our cumulative GPA. So the first, the row two here, I'm gonna drag it all the way down to letter. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the color to maybe red. So that way it kind of signifies that, hey, this is one whole class section to be calculated, okay? Um, the first row here, I could just go ahead and bold everything. So the units, it won't change uh, all the way down. It won't really change. You're only gonna be copy pasting this area later when you're having different classes. But I'm gonna go ahead and bold everything here. Uh, I'm gonna go change the color of this so it looks a little bit more pleasing and organized. So I'm gonna change it to maybe like a darker yellow, light yellowish. And then I'm gonna add a couple categories, obviously, uh, you know, for your classes. So I wanna make about maybe six rows, maybe eight, maybe I'll do eight, eight rows here. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the color again. So that way we can kind of like categorize, okay, this is a class, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and increase the font size it's a little bit easier to see. And you know, you can type in whatever class name you have. So for example, you have algebra and then how many units uh, is the algebra class worth, right? So for example, three units. And I'm just, you know, to make it a little easier on the eyes, I'm gonna make, uh, make this left align, make all the text here left align. So we have uh, units, three units of algebra and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and, you know, let's make some categories here. So for example, we're gonna make a uh, homework, uh, quizzes. This is gonna be the categories of the grades that are gonna be in your class. So for example, how much is homework worth? Well, homework is worth 20%. Um, and you can see here that it's just typing like regular whole numbers. If we select D and C together, uh, the column here, and click on this format as percent, we will be formatting it as a percent. So now instead of 2000%, obviously this makes no sense. Uh, homework is maybe worth 20%. Let's just put in some arbitrary grades here. And obviously you would, you would put this according to whatever grade that you have in your class right now. Same with the weight here, right? You would put whatever weight you have in the class. And if you wanna just get rid of the 0 .00 here for the weight, you can do that by clicking the column and click decrease decimal places. So if you click that, you can see now it's 20.0 decrease it again. So now it's like 20% of your grade, you know, it's not, it doesn't have the zero zero unless your class is super specific about that, but um, it usually isn't. So now let's calculate the overall grade that we have for this class. And in order to do that, we're actually going to enter a formula here for this overall grade category. Now the formula is going to be equals to some product. So we're going to type in some product. And what that is, is exactly here, as it says, sum of products of elements in two arrays and two basically lists, right? We're gonna sum the product of whatever is in here. So opening parentheses, I just drag down whatever's in the weight category, comma, whatever is in here. So we're gonna multiply the two together and add it up together, right? And then when you hit close the parentheses and hit enter, you have your overall grade here. And again, I forgot to make it into a percentage. So don't forget to make it into a percentage. You can also increase the size and bold it as well. So you can see it a little bit better. But obviously we don't have a 68%. That makes no sense because how are we at 68% when it's 95, 90, 87, and 76, right? And that is because we we didn't finish adding everything in the weight category. But obviously you don't want to do that because sometimes you don't know what weight or what grades you're going to have later on in the future, right? You can't calculate. You just want to calculate what's now. What do you know? So in order to do that, we're going to get this formula. We're going to tweak it a little bit. We're going to actually do a division symbol. We're going to divide it by 
the sum of what we know, the sum of all this weight here. So whatever we enter there, let's just divide it by that. So that way it's not just divided by one, but it's rather divided by however many percent as that's we already have entered and defined in the class. So if I do that and hit enter, now we know we have a more accurate uh, grade here. And this is the actual overall grade of my class of the algebra class now, right? So now we have an overall grade of 85.44%. So this is already a simple grade calculator that you can use on a class to class basis. Um, but now what we want to do is we want to calculate GPA, right? And to do that, we need to kind of tell, you know, we kind of need to make a formula that, hey, you know, we need to find that a 4.0 is an A or an A is a 4.0. Maybe an A minus is a 3.7, you know, a B is a 3.4. We need to kind of define it, right? So in, in, that, in that setting, we're going to actually uh, go over here to uh, column K. I'm going to shrink this column J real quick, and I'm going to just write down, you know, the grade range here. So we're going to have a grade range. We're going to have a letter, and we're going to have a grade point here. So grade point meaning like obviously like a 4, a 3, a 2, right? So the grade range, what I'm going to do is I'm going to also make it into a percentage. Um, a percent here. So anything that's a hundred percent or below that is going to be an A, right? And the grade point for an A, let's just say, is a 4.0. Now, obviously, it just rounds to four. Uh, you want to do the same thing where you want to increase decimal places. So you can do 4.00, or you can even do four point, just 4.0. Uh, it just depends how much of the decimal points you want. Now, if we start getting to an 89.99, right? Anything below that is going to be a B. Okay. And that's a three. So you can see how I'm actually defining ranges here. So anything from a 79.99 below is going to be a C and it is going to be a 2.0 in the grades, uh, grade point, right? And same thing here, a 69.99 is going to be a D and it's going to be one and anything that is basically below that. So anything that is 59.99 or below is an F and unfortunately it is failing. You get a zero grade point. Now, why exactly did I do this, right? And actually, you can go ahead and change the formatting here as well to make it a little bit nicer. So I'm going to make this a blue. Uh, so that way we know that anything to do with blue is the GPA. Okay, so the grade point here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually know that, okay, if it's an 85.44, where does it fall in this range, right? Well, obviously, it falls in a B. How do we tell Google Sheets that? So there is a formula for this, and it's going to be equals to index. So index is actually getting the you know content of cells specified by row and column offset. Okay, so exactly what this means is I'm going to go ahead and open this and we're going to get the index of this grade point here. Okay, so we want get return me something in this column, right? And I'm going to hit a comma and that matches. The, so the match formula is going to be what? What are we matching? Like what is the key, right? Well, we want to make this overall grade into the search key. Um, because that's what we're going to be ranging here and then comma. What is the range? Like where is our range? Right. And that's going to be here. So you want to click K. Okay. And then what you want to do next is do a negative one. So the search type, what it is, is I'm going to just read it to you. If negative one finds the smallest value greater than or equal to the search key. So don't worry about it too much, but since we have a des descending order here, it's going to find out what, you know, if it's an, if it's a 90, it's still above the the 89.99, so it's just going to be an A. If it's like an 85, it falls below this 89.99, so it's going to be a B, and it's going to return a 3.0. You know, just follow this formula, and it will just work. Um, and hit enter. So now you can see that uh, we have a 3.0 here, and I'm just going to go ahead and bold uh, the cells. So let's just say, for example, we have 100% on our final exam. We get a 94.4, and you have a 4.0. Now, again, you can be very specific with this range. You can do A minus B plus C minus C plus, right? And just change the grade point. It, it will still work the same way. You just need to define the next step here of what's the, you know, what's the maximum here and put that letter grade. So for example, uh, maybe an 89.99 is a B plus and then 86.99 is a regular B. 82.99 is a B minus, right? You can just create that range however it is. Now to get the letter here, uh, you can just go ahead and copy the same formula here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click this grade point formula, select it and just copy it. And what we can do is paste it here, but instead of returning M, we wanna return L, right? Because that's where we define our letters. So L to L here, there you go. So now we know that, hey, you have an A in the class. Uh, if you have a 50 here, you have a C in the class and you have your grade point is 2.0. To find the cumulative GPA, it's actually relatively easy. So what you want to do 
is since different class have different weights, you can go ahead and type in equal to, right? We're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna do sum product. So we're gonna do a sum of these two multiplied together. And that is the grade point, right? Multiplied by, so comma, the amount of units, close that. And then you just wanna divide it by the sum of the amount of units you're taking right now. And that's how you find your actual weighted GPA is by, you know, you multiplying the grade point times the units and adding everything together divided by how many units you have taken. So that's exactly how you find your cumulative GPA. Hit enter. And now you can see here that your cumulative GPA is a four. And again, you can add uh, decimal places here to be really more, you know, even more specific. So you can do 4.00. So if you actually just go ahead and go here and grab it by the units here, and hit control C, or you can do right click copy, same thing. And you could paste another one exactly underneath that. And you could again, define everything. So you can define this is a four unit class. Let's say you're taking chemistry, for example, or honors chemistry, whatever, you know, whatever class you're taking. And then you have, for example, a 75 on this one. So you're doing really bad, uh, or not really bad, but you're at a B, you're at a B, okay. Um, and your grade point is a 3.0. You can see here that it you know, automatically adjusts on itself, the letter adjusts, and most importantly, your cumulative GPA also adjusts accordingly as well. So now you know that this semester or however many classes you have here, in total, you have a 3.43. Now let's just say, for example, you already took a couple classes in the past, right? You don't know their category, but you wanna you know, factor it in in your cumulative GPA as your whole, um, you know, your whole college or, or your whole high school years or whatever it is. You can just do that. You can copy just the top itself, right? You don't need all this category and you can just paste it here and you can see how there's div zero and you know, you're dividing everything by zero. Well, you don't, you don't, you don't need to worry about that because you're adding a class from the past. So if, for example, you took maybe a geometry in the past and you already know your grade. You could, you already know that maybe you got a 75, uh, that way you see it already calculates everything accordingly and then you can have your new cumulative GPA here. So you can actually add classes from the past. You can you know, add later classes in the future. You don't have to calculate every single category here, but rather instead already add existing data from your previous classes in the past. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video on how to make a grade and GPA calculator. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.